I'll, I'll sort them out. Right, 30th of January. I've dragged Alex out of bed. Yep. On this sub zero morning. Oop. Do off the off the rail. No. Like that. Now go on your rail. Get Sit. Uh -huh. Or just take leave off your other board. That's it. Can we do that? What? The whole thing. <laughs> right, where are you? This. Oh, let's just go to the middle of the fence and show them how good the fence is. This is the builder's standard issue. That's how it's put up. I'm surprised it's still standing. They use 3b3 posts. Not very deep, not very much concrete. And they use 6b1 rails, believe it or not. No wonder it's like a B. I don't know what. So what we're doing is we're stripping this back to here, which is the start of the garden. And we're going to redo it with 4x4 posts, 3x2 rails and some groove for those boarding that we normally do. And then it's coming out. We've had a machine here a couple of weeks, a few days ago to move that from there. There was a big hump. So we're coming out to about there, about 18 inches in. So you've still got a sight line when you're backing out. So we're going straight across, back, and basically we're just getting rid of all that. It's a pity because we we did the uh, we did the overboarding just before during lockdown, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. yeah so these are all gone to waste now because you can't get them off. Uh, changed the mind since then. So all this was a waste really. I'm going to salvage these, but these can't be salvaged, these these things. So as you can see, it's not taking much to knock it down. So, let's get to time lapse. Hello, I'm Steve, that's Alex, anyway, boards are off, there they are, I'm going to denail them and probably stick them on eBay, 
they're like three quid each to buy them, so we sell them for a pound a piece. But we're not just chucking them. Um, there's, there's your rails. 61. Which isn't very... Uh, the posts are pretty solid here, but... Let's see how plumb it is. Yeah, we've got these ones plumb. Different story around the corner. Just um, just get the camera and just, just, just film it down the, down the length of the fence and then just work your way out so you can see the shape of it. So here, yeah, got bang on that one. Yeah, yeah for the fence, it's bang on. Then it all gets a bit, a bit weird. You can see the, see the concrete. Even even before we took the soil out from that, we was doing that. And then that's where it starts to go a bit wrong. Next post. Hmm. And then the next one. Now this one's solid because it's against the, the drag out. So that's how they put that one in. This is where we're taking the whole thing down and starting again. And using, some, using some proper material. That one goes the other way. That one's okay. It's easy to get the corner ones right and just go a, a bit off piste on the middle ones. But just stand back and wobble it. This is actually going to use six big on rails. Concrete properly around the post so you put it into soft ground. So that's staying on until we put this one in. Then we're going to drop that. There we go, there's the first two we got in. Then we stuck our corner one in. And now we've got another two in. We've not exactly been killing ourselves there, he's plodding along. So we're going to get one more in today. It's starting to rain now, it's about 10 past 3. And we'll have two more to do on this front section. One more on the far end. And then 
we've got to go here but obviously we've got to we've got to take that fence out before we can put that section in so at least tomorrow we can get some rails up and get a few uh, a few um, boards on so I'm excited to hear all of these songs Right, well, it's New Year's Eve. We've just sort of, um, well, we got up and went back to bed. <laughs> it's bloody freezing, so um, here we go. That's yesterday's work. I've got a post in there. Corner post. I think we got seven posts in yesterday. We're not exactly killing ourselves. We're just the reason that this is this is my daughter's house, so we're just giving us something to do over Christmas. You can see in the distance there, we've got one more post to go in there, back to the house. We've, um, we've cannibalised the fence. We're using the uh, 6x1 rails. We're going to reuse the long ones as a gravel board. Oh yeah. So we're putting a gravel board around the bottom. That way we can raise the garden up slightly and reduce the slope. And then what, we did try and get a grab wagon for this, but we couldn't get one because it was too close to Christmas. So most of it's soil. So a bit of hand digging to do, we're going to move as much of that as we can into here, up to the gravel board. As you can see that, it's quite a bit going to go in there, all the way across. We're not going to sort the manholes out yet, because they are going to get the garden landscape, so they can be done as and when. And then um, we're going to have to take this down before we finish the rest of the fence to get those rails off. But we've managed to get a all the feather edge boards off in one piece as well so they can go on ebay or facebook see if anyone wants to buy them because there's nothing wrong with them they've only bought them they've only bought them since march and it's all pressure treated stuff it's all good gear so there's let me see there's there's what they put in little puny 3b3 posts that's what we've put in Hundred by hundred. See how big they are. It's absolutely solid then. So the plan today is just we're not really doing much today. <coughs> we can't really put the soil back properly until the, the uh, gravel boards in. So we want to get that post in over there, um, and maybe see how we get on. We might take this bit of fence down and put this next post in. I think there's two more posts to go in there so once all the posts in we can get the gravel boards on then we can start making some progress we've done it a bit back to front really but um as i say the posts will be getting binned but we're using a lot of the rails and all the boards can be gotten rid of sold on i thought we'd have to get rid of them i thought we'd destroy them but no okay
it. I'm not risking it. Right. I've been doing that while I had his lunch, so now. There's one big pile of shit. 2.4 comes to out there and it's we're gonna have to cut three rails anyway so we're gonna put the post in the center and then if they decide eventually they can put a gate in here cut a gate out or obviously down the line so then another post can go in here then they're putting a gate in but that's that's like we're not even thinking about that yet so we're gonna put the post central so we've got end post center post and then the the timber gates the house to fix to so this is um got, uh, three posts left i think so yeah. i think one this one here and then one two there. down yeah that end right let's just get this one in Is it the third today, Al? I think so. Sunday the third. Still bloody sub zero. It's got a crust on it. But we need to get all that moved today before we get the fence up. Taking the old stuff down. This is our post. Give that a wobble, Al. Show how bad it is. That is in concrete. Just go a bit further with it and then see if you can lift it. That's not a lift out. Fire away. Probably some of that concrete's got to come out too.
There's a progress so far. A few tons of crap back in. And then here's, here's the best post of the lot. No, no, he's a concrete loose. The post is loose in the concrete. What's that holding on to? Free door. Send it that way. The other last one snapped, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Giving it a wobble, it just snapped. Vocals courtesy of the ridiculously talented Lowe's. This is the Grammy nominated Cola Boys Channel Fat with Easier on the radio. All right, next year. <laughs> oh, it's Christmas. Oh, sounds nice down there. Right, can you stay? And maybe the bar. No, not that one, it'll snap. If you get me the bar, I'll have a pick. Give me the pick for, for starters. There you are. Keep pushing. Wow, what is that? Is this filming? Yeah, I'm close up with that. There you go, that's a uh, fine craftsmanship. No wonder it wobbled in the wind. Jesus, watch yourself. Before you break it off, why don't you show Sarah? Morning. Fourth. Fourth. I don't know how many days we've been on this, but we haven't done a full day in it yet because it's just been too cold. So uh, I think site's back at site's back at work today. Well, a few nice people. Part. Yeah. So we got the, we put the last post in yesterday. Uh, we're going to put another six we want on top of this just to bring the ground level up a little bit. Obviously the uh, the uh, Fence is going to step down a bit there, but that doesn't matter because that's next door's fence. That that's the uh, boundary. Uh, these speeds. Yeah, they can go. So, so it's all our gear. What? I was just going to say, so it's just the uh, digging speeds we need now. Yeah. Right. That we'll keep that one out. Okay. So there's all our gear. Proper three by two rails. They use six by one rails, believe it or not. Waste of time. Um, and then new boards. We've actually de-nailed a lot of the boards, so I'm just going to sell it on. They're fine. So, I think 11 posts. 100 by 100 posts. Moved a lot of that crap. We're going to move as much more as we can, then the rest goes in his skip. And then we've put this 6 one up to raise the ground level, to level the garden out a bit, which is making really a big difference. And then we've took that lump off, just graded it down. So I'm starting at this end, we're gonna get the rails on this end and start boarding it. And then Alex is gonna start this end. Get this side in, get that side in, start coming this way a bit, and then probably leave this last this last one right here, so we can get it access in with the air. Uh, because as you can see, uh, it's a bit of a slope and a bit of a dip. So we're going to level it out. Should get rid of another couple of ton maybe. Most, it, in fact, the majority of it's soil. We took the odd stone out of it, but the majority of it's soil, so we might we might be able to get them to get rid of it on site. Because there's not much left. We'll have to see. So. It's still, it's still about zero, isn't it? Oh yeah. No bricklayers bothered turning up today. It's got more sense. So we'll start putting these rails up.
Devil.